Hello friends, I'm George, the nice milk gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Today's video is going to be about a nice little fresh and cheap scent that comes from the brand of Fragrance World and uh, one of their sub brands that's called Atur Al Alam. The fragrance itself is called Kaed and this supposedly is a clone of Dumont's Nitro Red. Now I've never tried the original fragrance uh, but I can tell you that I really really like Kaed. Kaed from Atur Al Alam comes packaged in this, uh, you know, dark blue colored uh, box that has a sort of a velvety finish. Uh, there are some golden accents on the front. You got the name of the fragrance, uh, the concentration, which is uh, EDP. The bottle size is 100 milliliters. On the top and on the back, you get some additional Atur Al Alam branding, uh, also a sticker of authenticity. And uh, somewhere on the bottom, there's a production date as well, which says uh, June of 2023. It's a sort of a simple packaging. Uh, and once you take out the bottle, this is how the bottle looks. Uh, it has a sort of an, uh, you know, uh, okay -ish design, let's call it that. The cap is plastic. Uh, it's not really a snug fit, quite loose actually. So I would not, uh, I would advise you not to pick up the bottle to the cap. The 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 bottle itself uh, has a nice heft. Uh, although the packaging is pretty simplistic, uh, but keep in mind that this is a very very cheap fragrance. The note breakdown of Kaed from uh, Atur Al Alam has the following notes. The top notes are bergamot, apple, and lavender. The middle notes are watermelon, Bali air, and cedar, cedar wood, and the base notes are amber, sandalwood, and patchouli. Before I talk about the scent of uh, Kaet, uh, I just wanted to mention something out. Uh, Latafa also have a fragrance that's called Kaet, uh, so just uh, don't think that uh, this one and the Latafa Kaet actually have uh, anything in common. They're two, uh, you know, totally different scents. Okay, with that out of uh, the way, let me show you the sprayer of Kaet, and I'll talk about the scent of this fragrance. The spray is pretty decent, has a nice white distribution. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about uh, the sprayer here is that it's uh, quite hard to press, uh, but apart from that, it uh, you know does its job nicely. And now onto the scent of this fragrance. The opening here is very, very sweet, very fruity. I get a very strong apple note uh, in the opening of this fragrance uh, with uh, a nice amount of bergamot freshness. Uh, also quite a, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, the watermelon as well. It feels quite sweet and uh, sort, of, sort of bubble gummy, but at the same time quite, quite fresh and maybe even there's a hint of some aquatic, you know, marine notes in the opening of this fragrance. Even a touch of sort of a uh, saltiness somewhere in the background. Uh, it's really, really, uh, you know, nice, fresh, uh, refreshing, uh, sweet, fruity opening that you get with this fragrance. The, uh, the lavender note is also quite present uh, in the opening in here. And all in all, the opening is uh, very bright and easy to wear. Once this uh, fragrance goes into the dry down, you completely lose the freshness from the bergamot. Uh, you completely lose that sort of um, salty aquatic notes that uh, you get in the opening. The dry down is about, uh, you know, the sweet uh, mix of the fruity notes, you know, the apple, the, the watermelon, uh, and uh, also quite a lot of, uh, you know, woodsy notes, the, uh, you know, the sandalwood and the cedar wood uh, that you get out of this fragrance. There's also one additional note that I pick up uh, on the dry down, like a hint of that and that's the note of musk. It's not a very musky fragrance but definitely there's a bit of musk somewhere in the background and also a patchouli note that just adds a little bit of a sort of an uh, adds to the body of uh, the this fragrance on the dry down. Oh you know this is very nice to wear, very bright, very refreshing, very sweet and fruity, very light type of scent that's great for the upcoming summer. When it comes to how close this is to the fragrance that it's cloning, as I said in the opening of the video, this is supposedly a clone of Dumont's Nitro Red. I've never tried the original fragrance, so I cannot tell you how close this is to the original scent, but I can also compare it with some other fragrances that, at least to my nose, this smells close to. And those other fragrances are Paco Rabanne's Invictus, Invictus Aqua, Rasasi Hawas, and also like a, a touch of uh, something like a... Uh, you know, uh, Club Dinui milestone because of the uh, amount of, uh, you know, watermelon uh, 
sweetness that you get out of this fragrance and this even sort of remotely uh, reminds me a little bit of uh, something like Jean Paul Gaultier's Ultramo because of the amount of uh, fruity sweetness that comes almost across like a bubble gummy uh, you know uh, especially in the opening it's not a clone or, or very close to Ultramo just brings a sort of an, uh, you know this kind of vibes to me this is an interesting mix between those DNAs you know um, Invictus, Invictus Aqua, Rosasi Howers and Club de Nuit Milestone when it comes to performance this is another area where this was a pleasant surprise for me for a fresh type of scent profile this actually has pretty decent performance at least on my skin I've been getting about seven hours out of this fragrance with pretty loud projection in the first about hour and a half so performance wise for the scent profile I think this is a good performing uh, fragrance when it comes to the price tag I paid about uh, 22 23 euros uh, to get this fragrance and I think that's uh, you know a pretty decent deal considering the nice likable scent profile and the decent performance and when it comes to versatility this is a fragrance that's uh, you know totally orientated towards the warmer months of the year you know spring summer and early fall you can wear this all year round uh, you know in reality but the best time to wear this fragrance is uh, you know in the warmer months of the year and so on to my final thoughts about Kaed from Atur Al Alam slash Fragrance World. This fragrance, I didn't know what to expect when I ordered this fragrance. It was pretty much a blind buy and uh, I ended up uh, being uh, very pleasantly surprised. It's a very nice, very fruity, uh, sweet, uh, slightly aquatic, uh, you know, and slightly woody scent that's uh, fantastic for the upcoming summer. You know, it works absolutely fantastic in the warmer months of the year. It has very decent performer performance. It's uh, nicely blended, has a very likable scent profile, comes nicely packaged, uh, carries a pretty low uh, price tag. Oh, you know, this turned out to be a very, very pleasant surprise. So if you're looking for something cheap to daily drive, uh, you know, th throughout uh, the warmer months of the year, you know, throughout the summer, then you can check out Kayet. Just keep in mind that uh, you need to like sweet fragrances, you know, fruity sweet fragrances uh, in order to, uh, you know, like Kayet. But if you like those type of scents, then Kayet is a very good choice. And just keep uh, one else, one other thing in mind. If you already own fragrances like uh, Rasasi Hawas, like uh, Latafas Hayati Black or Latafas Nana, then uh, Kayet feels kind of redundant in my opinion unless you really really like you know those uh, fruity sweet uh, summertime scents if you enjoy them uh, then this is not redundant but uh, if you're not a huge fan uh, or, or already have uh, you know Hawas uh, or any of those uh, two Latafa fragrances in your collection uh, then I would say that uh, this is this feels kind of redundant just keep that in mind oh you know this fragrance gets a big like from me because I've been really enjoying Kayet from Atur Al Alam and so guys in today's video I showed you a very nice cheap uh, little freshie from Fragrance World and there's a brand called Atur Al Alam that's called Kayet I hope that you found this video interesting if you did give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one and until then, stay safe and bye-bye.